Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Tammy from Dizzy Budgets. Uh, I'm here again with naked nails. Please do not zoom into my cuticles right now because they are rough. I've just been, uh, I've been holding off on putting on any sort of press on nails or painting them for a while just because I'm doing a lot of cleaning. I've got a lot of chores to get caught up on. I actually took some days off this week uh, which I, I've very, very, very much needed. I've kind of been working a little bit uh, still and joining a meeting or two here and there just to make sure things don't get too behind by the time I get back next week. But I feel refreshed. I feel inspired. And this probably looks like a new background to you. This white table here, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Um, I loved my other my other tabletop and I still have it uh, but this is actually my new craft table and if you're somebody that does crafting or has their own shop their Etsy shop or anything like that you know that everything that you make takes 10 different pieces of paper little scraps vinyl uh, now that I'm doing these keychains I've got all these little charms everywhere too so it's been kind of a a wild uh, experience in this last year here because I just don't have enough storage. I've got space. I'm very fortunate about that, that I've converted part of our uh, basement to my home office now, but I'm sharing it with my actual full-time job office and uh, my business stuff. So I won't show you any video footage right now. I don't think maybe I'll edit that in if I get kind of wild here but uh, it's it's really messy it's kind of like a tornado came through but this table here for like probably what you see in this video I don't know is that like two feet or something I don't know it, just multiply that by like four and that's how far out the table goes and then uh, maybe do the same thing off to the right I think this is just a big old square at this point but this is a huge table. It's from Ikea. I've got four new sets of uh, Ikea Alex drawers to put my items into. And so storage wise, we even have a new bookshelf that all of these things, thank you so much to Nick for helping me build these because I would have cried at this point. Um, you know, I'd still be working on it five days later. Uh, but anyway, <laughs> I'm sure you can hear the peppiness in my voice. I'm just really excited to get creating and to have the space to actually do so. I still have my full-time job, but maybe one day this could be this could be something more uh, this Etsy stuff. But anyway, I wanted to get together today to show you my cuticles haha, but also show off a couple new items that I have that I'm gonna be putting in the shop. My shop is opening on June 1st. I hope that I have posted this video before June 1st. Um, I've been struggling to even get anything onto my laptop the last couple videos that I've done. It's extremely slow. It's a new laptop that I have, but this phone is old. So I don't, I don't even want to think about it. Like I don't want to have to buy another phone. I don't know if it's it. I've got... I've got enough storage. I don't know. Something's weird there. Um, but then also the time to film has been a struggle. But I want to show these off. So I'll start off with this. And then I have my chunky uh, letterbuck binder. No offense to you, chunky binder. Uh, but I just want to get this all counted up. See how many singles I have in here. And then... I have some ideas of where I want to put this money towards. I haven't fully decided yet. Um, maybe maybe that's something that I put in the comments. I've never done that before, but I've got a couple ideas of what I want to put this money towards, and maybe you guys can uh, kind of vote in the comments because uh, I can't really decide, and I think both options are very much uh, appreciated or needed. So, okay, let's... Oh my gosh, pop, there we go. So I wanna start off with, let's just go right ahead with these guys right here. 
So when I restock my shop on the first, it's going to be very limited quantity. Again, I got, I, I really thought that I was limiting things when I opened up my shop last time. I didn't realize how <laughs> things would actually like sell out. Um, so like I put the travel binder or the birthday binder, I think I put like four or five of those. Okay, well when you sell out of all of them, uh, plus I've got like, like the Disney binder, um, I have my Pokemon binder, my Star and Moon binder, the neutral uh, binder, the one that had garage sale on it. Gosh, what else am I forgetting? the Christmas binder. I've got all these little mini binders and they take a really long time to make. I'm trying to make some of my designs more simplistic so it's quicker to get out but it's so fun to just to go a little overboard you know. Um, I do this to myself. So in the spirit of that I just want to mention that I am going to be posting limited quantity and then giving myself a little bit of space um, in between, I'll announce the next time I open, um, I'm going to be putting out more. Or I'll just say, keep an eye open in my shop. Uh, if you could favorite my Etsy shop in the description, there's the link. Uh, then you'll be able to see when new items uh, come back or come out so that I don't have to do a whole video uh, just dedicated to that. But I am excited to show everything. So here we go. Uh, so this one right here is going to be the B binder and I thought of this because I'm a people keep calling me a busy bee and I used to have my queen bee savings challenge the scratch off one um, that I don't have on the shop anymore but I just I love how I love how this looks so it's the big bumblebee here um, she's a chunky one too and then the high or the yeah the hive the honey here and then on the back I've got a bunch of little bees hopefully I'm showing it okay on the camera if not I'll post a picture of it but I've, I'm trying to use up some of these blue binders and this felt perfect for that because bees fly and they fly in the the blue sky so I want to see if anybody appreciates this, but I literally kept a tiny little butt here, a little bee butt with its stinger, because uh, I wanted to maximize some more of this space, so I just, I kept a little butt that I cut off of this guy here. Um, <laughs> I'm like immature right now, but I just, I thought that was funny, and try to keep it simplistic here, but it, it does, it takes a lot of little pieces to build this but so it's got the little strap and then of course how much does this total up to be 250 you guessed it same as all the all of my other binders except for the pokemon one uh, this i like to keep the challenges as, as small as i can there's 20 different slots that are in here and so doing that allows me to have fives tens fifteens and twenties in here so we've got a lot of really pretty, I'm going to turn it this way just because it's easier, but when you flip through it, it'll be like this, like this way. But just for ease sake, um, we've got all these really pretty uh, bee-related pages, flowers. These, I don't know if you could see, they're tiny little bees. I really hope I'm on screen right now. I'm not used to this setup quite yet. But yeah. It was really fun to make this, and I really hope that this is something that people also like bees. Maybe this is something that reminds you of summertime or a family member or a friend that you know you spend time outdoors with. That's kind of like what I thought about is like this is kind of a, a nice summer themed one. I have some other ones in the work that might relate to that as well but no clue when those will be launched in the future so yeah that's the bumblebee one
Okay. And then next we have this one. I'm calling it the back to school mini binder challenge because I know that a lot of people that watch my channel have mentioned that they have kids. I've even had people mention as well that they, they're saving up for school, like for college. Um, and some of these might, the, the papers in here and even the back of this might seem a little like maybe kid-ish, but I, I mean, even for myself, like if I was going to college, I would think that this is like, like a, a nicely fitting or themed binder. So this, uh, I know back to school shopping is pretty expensive. I know that, that that's something that I think back to when I was younger. That was the most fun that I had um, with my sisters, I think, and my, my mom. When I look back on certain memories, it's we would all get together, so I have four sisters, so the five of us plus my mom, we would go to Shopco or Walmart. We didn't really go to Target because Target was too expensive for us. Uh, Kohl's, you know, some of those other stores like that in the mall. Yonkers, if anybody knows Yonkers and Sears when those existed, if they're still there. JC Penny. Uh, a lot of memories flooding back right now, but we would go clothes shopping and then we would also go get school supplies. So I know how expensive that was for my mom, uh, even just for my own stuff, because I just, I wanted to have the coolest new outfit and the, the newest and the, the coolest pattern school supplies. I, I'm still like that to this day. Actually, I might even use this one for my own office supplies that I have here because I love to have all like the prettiest like pens and markers and folders and things like that. So uh, let's show it. So I've got three books here and it's with this really pretty glitter shimmer paper. And of course, again, I did that to myself. I have these colors in just standard flat matte colors, but I just thought it looks prettier like this. And here's a pretty pencil right here and some gold stars because if you uh, if you're like me when I was younger in school there there was always the phrase of you get a gold star or good job like you get a star uh, maybe I don't know if that's just a Wisconsin thing I'm not sure but that's why there's a lot of star themes in here that you'll see I was going to label these books and then I realized <laughs> that I didn't want to start a fight because, <laughs> oh gosh, that's funny. I didn't want to start a fight because I know that other people, and I'm actually somebody that has gotten mad in the past because green to me, the green book equals science. Blue was math and red was social studies. Purple, I don't have purple here, but purple was English what else existed? I think those are the main ones. But <laughs> there's times where I have talked to people and I think even Nick had said something, but like green was his math and like blue was his social studies. I don't know. It was so mixed around that I was like, I don't know. It made me kind of angry. I'm like, no, that's not what it should be. Green is science, blue is math, red is social studies. So, um, I, yeah, I figured that leaving it blank is, is perfect enough, especially for those that don't want to use this uh, for like an elementary school student or middle school or high school. They're using it for like college. But um, I've made these little indents here. I've kind of like etched it in. I've kind of scratched the, these little lines. It's probably hard to see, but kind of makes it look like there's actual pages here. And then when you flip it, Here's some pretty crayons. They're all glittery, pretty ones with more gold stars. So I try to, I don't know why I'm saying that. I try to keep it simple, but this took me hours to make because why do I do this? So in here, there's a lot of really cool school type of uh, prints. And then there's a big gold star with numbers in here. Once again, adding up to 250. So 
So we've got fives, tens, fifteens, and twenties. I think there, there's five of each. So very, I want to say doable, but, um, you know, to, something easy to chip away at for four people. So we've got apples. This one is fun. It's got like sports gear for gym class. Some weird, here's pie <laughs> and some numbers. Rulers, science, notebook. This one's cool. It's got like band instruments in here. I was in band. I was in percussion. So I played the drums. They stuck me a lot on the xylophone and the bells, but I did get to play the drums. This is my favorite page. This is lockers. Isn't that cute? Some paper clips, some books, some books with a random vial of something there. I don't know why they have that on their shelf. And some other, other prints here. Paper airplanes, paint, alarm clock. This one, I think, is the second coolest. I loved square pizza in elementary school and middle school. Um, I don't like hot dogs or corn dogs, though. Uh, so that's, <laughs> if this wasn't there, I could have covered it up, I guess, with a star. But look at, look at these dino chicken nuggets. If, um, if Liz is watching this, I think I saw you at a challenge that had chicken nuggets on it, which is so cool. But there, that made me think of you. Uh, some music, some weird sciency symbols that remind me of the Big Bang Theory, light bulbs, just some more patterns and some uh, multiplication, division, subtraction, addition cards. So uh, there'll be a variety of different prints in there. Not all of them will always be in there. I've got actually some more that I didn't even have a chance to fit into here too. But yeah, I these are just, they're fun. They're cute. Here's the Disney one. They're little and... I mean, here's my palm. So it's just nice to be ha able to have some of these smaller challenges, especially being able to use them over and over. Okay, I'm gonna put those off and out of the camera here. I've got a couple new keychains here that I'm gonna be adding to the shop. These are ones that I can recreate just a couple of them each, exactly how they are. This one's really pretty with the flowers. I'm, I really don't know if you could see this though. Um, zoom into my nails, I guess. But here's just some pretty flowers. And we've got this pretty rainbow one. So a lot of these are newer charms that I didn't get to show you. Um, so this has a rainbow with some stars in here. This one I think is my new favorite. Um, this really pretty pink with the paw print and a key and a heart lock. I thought of it as like, like Dizzy is the key to my heart. She is. She truly is. So I've added this in here. Oh, surprise, a star. I had a little star right here as well. So I just, I really like that pink color with the gold. And then we've got our dollar dollar bills again. This was the dollars, uh, the golden dollar ones were the most popular from the last uh, launch. So these sold out pretty quickly. I'm a big believer in things that can bring you luck. And I just seeing those little gold dollar bills made me feel like they would bring me some money luck. And then I do have this one. It's this really pretty butterfly red, white, Red, white, and blue added a cute little star here, but just like a 4th of July type of vibe um, that I've got, again, limited quantities for these, but if you're interested, these are things that would can go, um, probably not the best example of a binder here, but they can go right in here into your binder. So just clip it in there. Uh, you don't even need to like open the what do you call this thing? 
this keychain. Is this what a carabiner is? I don't know. But yeah, you just put it right there. Then it stays on the inside. I, I've made some that are longer that go on the outside, but this is not one of them. Okay, so that's my keychains. I wanted to also take all these single dollar bills here out of my letter buck binder because she's pretty thick right now. And I want to start over as for June 1st because we've reached halfway through the year now, which is insane. And I'd like to start fresh with that and maybe a couple of my other savings challenges that I'll get to in a future video. So I either want to spend this on another credit card payment or, or you know, super exciting <laughs> credit card payment. But also my mom is from the Philippines and she reminded me the other day because I had reached out to her at my work. We had a lot of extra office supplies that you know, I wasn't using, and so I had asked my mom, is this something that you'd want to send in one of the, the big boxes that she sends with supplies and clothes and um, hygiene items and things like that to the Philippines? So I have eight uncles, I have many, many cousins, and other family members out in the Philippines that a little goes a long way. And actually, when I went to the Philippines I think I think it was at least five years ago now we went to one of the busier cities because my mom is from a more of a poor village and we had gone to one of the bigger cities and I had bought pens pencils some backpacks just some basic school supplies crayons markers and I was shocked at how how well that was received for all the, the kids there because one of my cousins that went with us, I told him to pick out, you know, we've got 15 kids that we need to shop for, go grab a bunch of pens. And, and there was a language barrier, yeah. But he came back with like only like literally 15 pens. And then I asked him, okay, well, what about a pen for you or like extra pens? And he said, this is my pen. And he had one singular pen. And I was like, well, you need more. And he said, no, like I, I only, uh, like I can make one pen last. So that was like a shock to me. And that was him trying to save me money. Um, and anyway, I'm going on a rampage here of a rant, but I, I wanna put more money towards when I'm seeing a good deal at like Target or you know, any of the other stores for school supplies. Maybe that's literally what this could be. Hmm. But I want to be able to put money towards that type of stuff, stock up on it, and then give it to my mom when I visit her um, in Wisconsin so that she can ship it on one of her, her boxes that she has. So, yeah. Okay, so we're going to unstuff all of these here. And then we're going to see how much we actually have. I'm going to flip them over so I don't lose the letter count. I also wanted to find if there's any Starbucks. Oh, oh my gosh, Starbucks, you guys. I really need coffee right now. I My sleep schedule is really off. I've been staying up super late. I, I'm okay. I, I really, I promise you guys I'm okay. The number of people that have reached out... Like I've been staying up to like four in the morning and working on stuff. And then I will wake up a couple hours later and then work on other stuff. It's usually work, like my full-time job related, but I also want to make time for Etsy stuff too, because I don't want to give up on this hobby or this passion that I have because I am somebody that normally has never had a hobby before and um, I don't know, this is, this is fun and it's therapeutic to me. So, where was I going with that? Who knows? So, let's, wow, 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 we, look at it. Row, 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 row. Okay, so I think the first thing that I want to do is start looking through to see if I can find any Starbucks. So just give me a moment here, I'll fast forward through this. 
And if you're newer here too, before I get to that, these are my letter books that I saved each individual letter. So here's A, back here, here's the letter F. It's just a fun way to keep your singles and not just kind of throw it towards nothingness. Um, I was somebody that used to have a junk drawer and literally just throw my single dollar bills like in that junk drawer. And I was shocked at how much was saved in there once I actually started doing stuff like this because every dollar does count. So I'm gonna look for the ones that have the stars so I can show you an example. There we go. Okay, I should have just started counting that at that point. I really thought I was gonna have like a bunch of them. But if you could see here, here's a here's a star for this F buck. So I'm gonna set those aside because I wanna save those up. Um, but otherwise everything else will go to the bank and whatever, um, either my credit card or putting towards some, just some school supplies. So star buck, but let's just go back and count this now. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's do some stacks of 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Nice. That was a good grab right on the 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Okay, you guys. So if these are stacks of 20 right here, I've got five, or oh my gosh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 already in ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Where are those Starbucks at? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. I promise I'm looking for the Starbucks, but so far I just have one. One, two, three, four, ah, slide it over. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Wow, wow, wow. Are you Starbucks at all? No, okay. So let's let's do some counting here. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, plus one, two, three, four. So 164 is what I'm gonna be putting in the bank. Oh, I bonked is going to the bank. It does bother me that this is out of alphabetical order now, but that's just me. Doesn't matter. Okay, 
So I'm going to put this in here. Am I though? This will be a test. Wow. <laughs> well, it has to actually close though. Wow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so if anybody wants one of these uh, really hefty uh, pouches here, it opens right here, also opens here and here. I do have a couple more that will be on my shop when I reopen on June 1st. And for your information, it does fit 164 potentially plus bills. So if that is not a sales pitch to you right there, I don't know what is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was a weird laugh that I just did. Ha 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 ha. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh. I like to embarrass myself. So here's a Starbucks, 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 three L's. How goofy. And then an F1. So I'm going to put these ones right back in here. Back on my star one. Because these are hard to come by for me now. Wahoo. Um, okay. okay, well, I'll see you in the next one. And hopefully I'll see or talk to you, some of you on June 1st when I reopen. Bye!